Welcome to a bit of Friday fun. Today we're talking meat alternatives. Yes, these have rocketed in popularity over the last five years, so we're going to taste test some, and we've challenged our chef Kush to rustle up some dishes using them that will blow our minds and challenge our thoughts. This is a challenge. Hiya! Is this a um, new one or a familiar one? It's the colour of ham. It looks almost sea life like <laughs> it does, in these it? little fibery bits. Last time I had meat alternatives was probably about five years ago. And I wasn't sure. I was like, don't try to have a meat alternative, just have a vegetable. Well, for me, you know there, were, I mean? there were sort of more synthetic meat alternatives yeah, yeah, yeah. that were trying to be beef or bacon, etc. And then there were natural ones, yeah. like fruits that were yeah. used in situ and actually just tasted great. Yeah. But just call it a jackfruit burger, not a pulled pork burger. Uh, do we think this is jackfruit? I think this might be jackfruit. Do you reckon? I'd say it's artichokey. Yeah, I'm not sure I like it. This is one of those ingredients that is there purely for texture reasons. Yeah, I think this load is like, it with plate flavour, yeah. get loads of stuff in it. The texture is really pleasant. I when like you it. pull it apart, it does look a bit like pulled pork or ham hock. This is jackfruit. It is jackfruit. Jackfruit is a large tropical fruit belonging to the Moracay Great, cheers guys. Family, along with mulberries and figs. Yes! Native to South and Southeast Asia, it's now cultivated in various tropical and subtropical regions worldwide. When unripe, the fruit has a spiky green or yellowish exterior, that's what I'm used to yep. seeing, while the ripe fruit features a pale yellow, fibrous and fleshy interior. Right, okay, that good. Ripe jackfruit is sweet, offering a tropical flavour reminiscent of pineapple, banana and mango. I'm excited to see how Kush is going to use this. I have high hopes. Yeah. I think so, he's going to so. create something brilliant. Okay. Why have we got... So we got an entire video on jackfruit then, have we? So we've got sliders. We've got a hard shell taco. And then we've got a kind of a bibimbap. Cheers. Cheers. Flavour-wise, absolutely delicious. Texture-wise, very pleasant. I would say the exact opposite. Really? That's not good. Isn't giving me much flavour. And texture wise, it just it goes from looking like pork to feeling like mush. Mush. Very, very quickly. Very. Now I'm trying my best to remove the preconception of what pork tastes like. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> and yeah. Not compare it. Just eat it as jackfruit flavoured. The problem is it looks so much like pork, <laughs> it's really it plays with your it mind. Plays your mind. I've got a funny feeling you you've wrapped it in more textures. You got crunch of uh, peach, pickles, lettuce. There's loads going on here. Yeah, just not a fan of. Uh, I'm not a fan of any of that. Yeah, that's completely different to if you try this one on its own. The texture's the same in that you chew it twice and then it's just mush. But at I least better, better flavours. The flavours are there. That's better because that's got some sweetness and some spice in there. And if anything. It feels more fishy in that than it does porky in that. Mmm. You have to have all the texture with it. My problem here is, Kush is a phenomenal cook. Mm. And he's done his very best with this. I've been corrected. <laughs> yeah, you have. Kush is a phenomenal chef. And he's done his best here. I have had some jackfruit burgers in the past that have been, I've not been able to finish. Mm -hmm. I think it's very easy to get this, it's easy to get it wrong that it is right here. Yep. It's quite a hard thing to get flavour into. Mm. Do we have any other facts about jackfruit? Yeah. So green or unripe jackfruit has a neutral taste and a meaty fibrous texture, making it an ideal substitute for meat in vegetarian and vegan dishes. Its ability to absorb flavours mm. and imitate the texture of pulled meat when cooked has made it popular as a meat slash pulled pork alternative. I'm not sure whether I'd fully agree with that, with what we've eaten today. Mm -hmm. I'm sure in other circumstances that, that may be true, but I wouldn't say necessarily that's the case here, because I think you still need it supported with lots of, lots of texture. I think it carries the flavours really, really well. Mm -hmm. Like, completely get mm -hmm. that. Um, I'd really love to try some fresh jackfruit, yeah, yeah. because by reading about the, you know, the natural flavours and the sweetness of that, I think that as a fruit, that'll taste amazing and I'm quite interested in that. I get it, but I feel like it's only used really because it looks like meat. Mm. If I had an option, I think a whopping big mushroom would be a tastier thing to put in all of these mm. with those spices. I actually agree. Yeah, and just have a mushroom burger. Jackfruit trees are known for their prolific fruit production. A single tree can yield hundreds of jackfruits in a year. 
that's good. And jackfruit are considered to be fairly sustainable. Jackfruit trees require little irrigation and pesticides or herbicides as they're not susceptible to many pests. I think we're pretty split on this. I, and I like that. Yeah, I think yeah. that's good. Yeah, I see a lot of vegan stands that sell jackfruit. Mm -hmm. I never pick it. I'm just, I just don't, I can't embrace it. Okay. I thought I thought that until I tried that. Really? And it's opened my mind. So we need an online review. Jackfruit of all trades, master of maybe one. one. <laughs> if you're enjoying this, there are some small things you can do that make a big difference to us. Like the video, subscribe if you aren't, click the notification bell and select all. Thanks. Ready? Number two. Ooh. One of those looks exciting. The other looks like brain cheese. Oh, not again. It looks little like beans. Little beans that have been mushed together. Mmm. Okay. It's flavourless. It's a bean burger. No, it's like... It, it's it beany, is isn't it? tofu -y. It's Yeah, it's beany. Cheers. Cheers. Bosh. Mm, sweet. Is that really sweet? I wasn't expecting that. That's nice. That's really nice. And the texture's great because I still get a little bit of bite from the mm. beans. Or whatever Actually, they are. It grows. It's, it grows in flavour as well. It's getting sweeter. That's yummy. Whatever that sauce is, it's got through right to the middle. Yeah. This is tiny temper. Tempa, a traditional Indonesian food, has garned, 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 what, garned? What's garned? That's a fish, isn't it? Garned. That's <laughs> definitely a fish. That's garned. <laughs> garned has garned worldwide popularity as a nutritious and versatile plant-based protein source made from soybeans. Tempa undergoes natural fermentation, resulting in a firm, compact cake with delightful nutty flavour and earthy aroma. Yes, I would agree. Especially when flavour is added to mm. it. On, on its own, it's terribly bland. Mm. But actually, the fact you can get flavour into the middle of that is important. But do you reckon, right, forget everything, mm. eating a chicken breast on its own is terribly bland. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah definitely. Mm. Definitely. We've got original temper. Oh, it's temper. Temper. Oh, you've got Tiba temper. I've got Tiba temper. There's a wedge. You could use a cheese shaver on that. I love the whole beans. Yeah. That, for yeah. me, makes all the difference. Gives you a texture. And also, there's just loads of little nooks for all the flavour. Yeah, yeah. Cushy baby, what you got? Hello! Wow. So, apparently, this is gochujang and peanut butter fried tempeh with some crispy garlic on top. Smells phenomenal. Oh, Cheers. gochujang and peanut butter is a win. Mmm. 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 Mm. So, since it's been cooked, it's got a real nice bite. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's almost a little bit more smushed together. Mm -hmm. I mean, you're just slicing that into mini bean burgers, aren't you really? And then covering it yeah. with outrageous flavour. But I wouldn't even, I would hope that if this was served to me, it wouldn't be called a bean burger. I'd rather it was gochujang, peanut butter and crispy garlic temp. That in a bun as a burger would work well. Small slices, fry them off individually. In a salad. Well, yeah, like if you're doing like a, a Korean night or you're mm. doing some Korean barbecue or Korean fried chicken, yeah. just serve it as a little side. I don't think you can compare it or should compare it to any meat. No, I would have said that about the jackfruit. Mm. Mm. On its own, with some nice flavours, lovely. Don't call it pulled pork. No, oh, we need to leave a review. Are you going to do this one? Don't lose your temper. This has girded my respect. <laughs> the gir was that girded? Lift it. It looks like liver. It looks meaty. Oh, it looks bouncy. It's bouncy. It's bouncy. I know what this is. It's spiced. It's nearly the texture of meat, but a bit bouncier and spongier. So, Satan. Which one is it? It's not Satan. It's Satan? I think so. Yes, it is. Satan. Also known as wheat gluten or wheat meat. It's a popular plant-based protein derived from wheat gluten, the protein present in wheat. With its firm and meat-like texture, seitan serves as an excellent meat substitute in diverse dishes. It effortlessly absorbs flavours from marinades, seasonings and sauces, making it a versatile ingredient adaptable to various culinary styles. So is this used in anything? Oh, seitan has been used traditionally in Asian cuisines, particularly in Buddhist veg vegetarian dishes, and is recognised as yakifu, Ooh. or fu, in Japan, commonly used in soups and stir-fries. Okay, good. Right, okay. Nice. Like, it is used as it, on its own merit. 
And I like that. I'd love to see it in a place where it's not trying to be chicken. He's Ooh. only gone and done it. Udon noodles, seitan, Filipino spicy banana ketchup. Wow, that's And miso. Combo. A wonderful sauce. That's great. It's a nice texture next to the noodles and the sauce. The best seitan dish I've ever had. Yeah, and, and it but feels like it's too. yeah, <laughs> but but it feels like it's being used again, celebrating itself. Yeah. I know it looks a bit like meat, and you could argue it could be instead of beef, but actually that doesn't mean I don't look at this and go, oh, if only that was beef, that no. would be delicious. No. no, it tastes fantastic as a dish on its own. Like temper, seitan can be prepared using different cooking methods such as boiling, steaming, baking or pan frying, each mm. method influencing its texture and taste. Now we've tried it, now we know how it can taste mm -hmm. and can behave. Mm -hmm. It's another ingredient to add to your armoury yeah. when it comes to cooking. Yeah, I, I think I prefer it broken up to get more surface area so you can get more flavours attaching it to it, rather than just as one big lump trying to be a chicken. Maybe today, seitan. You know the phrase, not today, Satan? Oh. It's that. Right, never heard that with that a phrase spin. either. Have you not? No, what's that from? Is that a Bible thing? Pro yeah, probably. Am I learning here? Okay, go. This is, this is progress. Nice. Faken. fake pork. Faken. Is it even it? bacon, though? It looks more Look. like tongue. They've tried, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this, is, this looks like bacon. Uh, it's smoked. And, and fake lardons, looks like. It tastes nice. The texture's very... Um, oh my God. It's almost homogenous and fibrous. Oh my God. It's goodness. dense, isn't it? That's so smoky, I'm just getting the flavour of smoke. Yeah, and a bit of salt. And because it's so smoky, it's just like heavily smoked. Smoke. Beef or bacon? Like it's beefy bacon flavour. I can't taste anything except for salt and smoke. Yeah. But I'm yeah. Not, and I'm not against no, it. No, 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 neither am I. I can see why this is a meat substitute because it's making me, reminding me of the flavours that surround bacon yeah. and brisket. Okay, I'm interested as to where we could go with this. I don't know what this is. Yeah, tell us, all. tell us. I've had this before, haven't we? What's this? I had this before, but not smoked. This is soy protein derived from soybeans, a legume native to East Asia. It's widely embraced for its versatility with a high protein content. Soy protein serves as an excellent alternative to meat as it contains all nine essential amino acids essential for the human body. If this is soy protein, it's just tofu again. Oh, it's this. I've seen this. I've seen this now. I'm holding this. I, they, this is widely available. I think I saw it in my local mini supermarket. It's trying to be, this bacon. isn't bacon rashers. It's, I like it, they're right. saying it. It's not. It's got a great taste award and I'd have to say it's the best tasting version of what it's not trying to be than I think I've tried. We can judge this yeah. fairly because we know who it's aimed at. This is aimed at Jamie in January. This is plant-based food for meat lovers. Yes, we know it's on every pack. Um, have I hit the world camp yet? Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. I cannot believe that it, this is my job. Blah, 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 blah. No, I do it. But though I do value the creative Someone freedoms, create they it. said I could write literally anything I want. Lucky, bye, thanks, cheers, bye. I'm really impressed at how smoky that is and how actually it's very tasty. But you don't need much of it because it's quite overpowering. It's very smoky and it's salty. I wouldn't want to have a fake and sandwich mm. with a lot of that. I just need one sliver. But let's well, see what a chef <laughs> Yeah, is. hold your horses, mate. Okay. Bloody hell. So we got a non-BLT and a non b mushroom garlic pasta dish. This is absolutely smothered in garlic. Cheers. Mm. Pretty okay. Yes, it is. I'm getting the smokiness. He's used that as a seasoning. Mate, as a, as a lardon, mm. have you tried one mm. on its own? Mm. It's almost, Brilliant. it's pretty much there. That is close. This is what they market it as, a BLT. I'm interested. I'm getting more Reuben vibes from that because they're going from the mustard. Like it's kind of that salted beef kind of vibes I'm getting. I know what you mean, but I'm getting texture of mm. thick pastrami, salt, beefy. I mean, it's a delicious sandwich. This is, this is almost ruining my preconceptions mm. for what I thought I thought. Yeah, yeah. Which Sorry. is don't try and pretend to be meat because you won't get there. The lardons are very, very, very close. And I don't want to get into the conversation about how sustainable it is to actually make these replacements We're not in comparison to meat. But going on taste and texture alone, that is very, very close. And actually, having said that, I've noticed on the packaging that they're a B Corp mm -hmm. company. Mm -hmm. So they've gone through rigorous tests 
and procedures to ensure that they are sustainable. You know what? I didn't think I'd say it, but I can't get enough of this. That's your review. So you're not going for a pun or anything. It's called this. Okay. Well, Make it clearer. <laughs> <laughs> ready, ready? I'm feeling good now, let's go. Oh. Are you still feeling good? I... Me not so much. They're very, oh, very it pink, smell aren't they? Straight away, I can smell fruit. It smells like it should be like a fruity breakfast I item. Well, I guess we'll find out. Okay. I feel like that could be nicer than it is. I feel like it's trying to be fish. No. That's not fishy at all. That on its own, I'm struggling with. I'd be interested in what you could do when, when that's fried. This deli platter, I've got an issue with straight away because my head goes towards meat, obviously. Mm. And, I'm, and therefore, you start by comparing it to me. Oh my gosh, so fruity. That's more like a fruit roll up. Yeah, but then it finishes and it tastes irony, like liver. Then again, it's a fruit roll up that gets really peppery. Oh, I'm okay with it. It's not obnoxious, but I just, I don't really like those really irony meats anyway. Oh no, Baz, you're right. That's Omni Golden Fillet plant-based fried fish style fillet. Yeah, so. No! A par-fried plant-based product with a texture and flavour which simulates fried fish fillet Ooh. with a tempura batter coating. I can't believe you were right about this, that these are plant-based fish fillets. They're soy-based, although they do contain ingredients like pea protein, rice protein, potato starch, corn starch, and wheat starch. Okay, I think if you fried those and served them warm, they taste they taste really quite nice. So everyone here just watched me eat those raw fillets. They're, they're meant to be cooked. And they're meant to be cooked. So ignore everything I just said. Okay, so the proteins inside harden up, and they look like they go more flaky than as a fried tempura style something. That's nice. Yeah. And do you know what? It's actually got the texture of a McChicken sandwich, hasn't it? But just thin. The, the chicken nuggets you buy, where the chicken's been processed so much, it, yeah. it doesn't taste the meat anymore. That's it. That's what it tastes like. And it's tasty. They've met in the middle. They have. If your benchmark is a chicken nugget, then you're pretty safe. Yeah, I'd say that's there. more like a big flat nug than it is a fish fillet. These are what you've got, Baz. Squeaky yep. beans. This is a meat alternative in its most exposed form, trying to replicate artisan meats. I don't think it's too far away. Oh, it is. It's no, it's yeah. no, it's not. I, I'm, I, I adore my deli. I was getting liver vibes at the end of one of them. If you're trying to compare that to a charcuterie board, it, you're joking, you're, you're kidding yourself. The squeaky beans are a combination of wheat protein, soya, and pea protein. I've got the packets here. One's supposed to be Milano salami style. One is NYC deli pastrami style. The other is Spanish chorizo that style. One, oh no. Basically that's just laced with paprika. And they're saying it's chorizo. Let's try. Yeah. 100% that's trying to be chorizo. Yeah, that's really that's, paprika -y. That's, that's the New York style. What's this one? That's, that's pastrami. What's that? And that is Milano salami style. No. If you can't eat the originals, are don't, they close don't, enough? Don't even try it, don't even try it. Like, if you're a vegan, you don't want to eat meat. I'm, I'm not a fan of the Milano. Then, then, then yeah, the, yeah. this is the worst one. It's, that's the most offensive because Milano ham is some of the best in the world. I love it, so that's just like a slap in the face. I don't want it on my nose. Removing the charcuterie board away from it, I don't think they taste bad. You I don't like kind of, what I, they're trying it's, to it's be. It's the marketing of it I really don't like about it. Because I'd rather them just tell me what this, what's actually in this. Right, but say meat was taken away from the world forever. No one could ever get any meat and you were craving it and you wanted a deli board. Would this do a job for you, knowing that there was no other option? This would make me miss meat more. Interesting. Have you got one? This is awful. Okay, even better. Charcuterie, yay. Charcuterie, nay. <laughs> yeah. I can't warn you that was bad. <laughs> Well, they are our thought. I think we've been on a bit of a journey, yeah, to be yeah. honest. I've... Imitation meat has come a long way, but has it come far enough? My, I'm not sure. My mind was is broader than it was when we started. Your eyes are further apart. Are they? Thank goodness for that. <laughs> <laughs> but over to you. What do you make of these products? Comment down below your thoughts and let us know. And of course, like the video if you like this video.